Hi, it's Hillary Tempo Sells. Um, third time, third time trying to do this video. Don't ever try to do a video with a dog in the room. Um, at least a dog not like Winston, who, uh, he's a little camera hog. Anyway, um, I was originally going to have a different video uh, talking about Vendu, um, but the video was an hour long and I'm trying to cut it down, but it's saying that my laptop, uh, my out of memory, and, and I can't get rid of anything. <laughs> and I, I, yeah, so uh, it's just sitting here on my laptop that's on the floor and waiting uh, for me to do something about it. So today's Easter impromptu video is going to be talking about my Poshmark sales. Um, so for this last week or so, I've been doing an experiment uh, because my sales have previously been really slow since about the beginning of the year. And I know part of that is um, because I decided to relist almost my entire closet. I relisted everything except for 12 items. And I had, I think, 900 items listed. And I'm at 741 items now, I think, or 740, because I, I had some sales. Um, so in the last seven days i've had 16 sales which is good for me um considering the past uh, month or so that's a good week um not as good as it had been previously but good nonetheless and i'm thankful for every sale um however i thought i would talk about uh this formula and one thing i like about poshmark is that i feel like Poshmark gives me agency. So like if my sales are slow, I mean, I can share and I can share other people and, you know, I can attend the parties and do all that stuff. It just makes me, whether it works or not, it just makes me feel like I'm doing something. Whereas, you know, with Mercari, it's like I can make an offer and that's about it. And then half the time they tell me, oh, you know, this needs to be 12 cents. You can't uh, mark it down to 650 um, or whatever. Um, and uh, with eBay, uh, the only option there is to uh, share my listing on social media um, or what's going on here? Or share my listing on social media or um, use their paid, their paid promotion um, and or uh, make offers to watchers. That's pretty much all I can do. Um, so with Poshmark, I decided to um, look at the share formula that I was given um, back in the early days of Clubhouse. I was on uh, one of the reseller Clubhouse rooms and uh, somebody mentioned, you know, the formula that I believe she said she got from a somebody that had worked at Poshmark or was currently working at Poshmark. I, I honestly don't remember. Um, but I do remember who gave me the tip, and it is an Instagram user by the name of Simply Chic Thrift, which I will link down below because she has lots of helpful, helpful reseller tips. Um, so anyway, let's just get to it. Uh, 16 sales over the last week, and I have been trying to get my number of shares, self, uh, self shares, up to the amount that the formula says I should have. And the formula is based on uh, three closet shares per day or four closet shares per day. Um, I don't know how that fares in the formula and I don't know what the formula says that, you know, the number of items that uh, you should sell. Um, but I do know that I, I could see here a direct correlation uh, between the number of shares and the number of sales. Um, and I'm not gonna lie with 741 items uh, for the four shares a day uh, listing, my 30 day total number of shares should be 88,920. That's a lot of shares. That's like 3,000 shares a day. And there's no way I can do that with these cute little hands. Um, so I have to use a bot to uh, meet that goal and uh, Poshmark doesn't like you to use bots, so use them at your own risk. Um, they can get you, uh, I was going to say court-martialed, that's not the right word. It can get you, uh, you know, um, uh, banned, what's the word? <laughs> uh, they can put a, put a hold on your account and you can't, you know, share. And, uh, but Knockwood hasn't happened to me yet. Um, I use three um, different bots. It went through, uh, on whether you're using Google or Firefox, you can usually type in uh, reseller tools or you just type in reseller um, or even Poshmark and you can find a um, bot that will 
uh, allow you to uh, share more consistently. Um, Cause I, I did once share my entire uh, closet manually through Poshmark and just clicking all the items took me about 10 to 15 minutes. And you can't, it, that's, that's, that's time that you could use doing something else, listing for uh, example. Um, so the first app that I use uh, is called Closet Mate. Um, it is free. Um, it is a phone app. Uh, it, it, okay, let me, let me clarify that. You can share up to 25 items at a time for free. You cannot share your whole closet unless you purchase uh, a monthly subscription, um, which I don't know how much it is. Um, most of these apps will give you other uh, other things that you can do, like you can list or relist, or uh, you can follow back, or um, you know uh, things like that. Uh, Closet Mate, I just basically use for the twenty five shares per month. I click my items um, is the way it lets me uh, is the order it lets me share, and um, the Poshmark app doesn't quite do that. And so I have to be more strategic and when I'm, oh, okay, I want this at the top or whatever. Um, and so I generally will use that. And when, before I went to a paid bot, I would, when I went to bed, just um, set up closet mate to share those 25 items, maybe nine times. And you get to um, set the, the interval so you get to send, set, set the interval between item shares. So I, I think I have mine set up between nine and 20 seconds, I think. So it's just gonna randomly pick a number, like nine seconds, and then after nine seconds, it'll share an item. And then maybe the next one will be 12 seconds, and uh, the 12 seconds, and then it'll share an item. So it, it, it makes it look like it's, it's a human doing it. Um, Although not nine times in a row, but it's only 25 items. So, uh, uh, and I think I only got a CAPTCHA once on that. Um, and so that's what I did to keep my number of shares up because I don't think uh, the algorithm, for lack of a better word, cares what you're sharing. It just wants to know that you're active. And you can see your shares per month in your Poshmark stats. It'll uh, show you what you're currently at. Another thing that I use Closet Mate for is um, just to uh, kind of reorder my closet in the way that I want. Um, oh, oh, I forgot to say that uh, if you're sharing, you know, your 25 items um, or if you purchase the, the uh, subscription, uh, you can share on a loop. So if I want to share, you know, my 25 items, like I said, nine times during the night while I'm asleep, um, I can set up what the interval is between each loop. So I can share 25 items, and then after 20 minutes, I can share those 25 items again instead of just constantly, you know, sharing the same 25 items over and over again. Or, um, I'm sorry, just sharing them one right after the other because I am sharing the same 25 items over and over again. So um, that's how I use Closet Mate. I have one on my... Um, laptop which I don't think is being updated anymore um, so you may or may not be able to find it but it's called simple posher um, it will allow me to share my entire closet um, I almost always get a captcha <laughs> though uh, sometimes even before uh, it's shared one items I'll get a captcha uh, uh, so uh, while I used to use that quite frequently, I don't use it as much anymore. Um, again, I do use it to uh, randomize my closet because even when I pick and choose which ones, I tend to pick the same ones and it goes in the same order. So uh, that's what I tend to use that one for. I also use it to uh, return shares um, because I can go back you know, as far as I want to. You, you do this on your, um, you go to your Poshmark screen because your Poshmark screen has to be open. So you go to your Poshmark screen and you scroll down, like say you want to do a week, week's worth of uh, shares. You can go back to uh, last Sunday and uh, then hit your share return shares button and it'll share up till the end of where you've scrolled. Um, so I find that to be also handy. So the one that I, the bot that I use that I pay for is called Swift Seller. 
Um, and to be honest, I found all these by just typing, uh, you know, resell or Poshmark or whatever into um, Firefox and um, or into uh, the apps on um, iPhone. But if you have an Android, I'm sure it works just as well uh, just to do a search on that. And um, most of the platforms will give you one to two weeks free as a trial. And I was just planning on cycling through them all and then, uh, you know, figuring out which one I liked best, which offered the best um, deal and, and the least amount of money. And uh, but then I found Swift Seller and I was like, this works. This is all I need. Um, Swift Seller allows me to share my entire closet. Um, it, it has some limitations. So it'll the order that I can put my closet in is either by category or subcategory, which I rarely ever use because it's. I don't, I don't, just not me. I like, I like my closet to be sort of randomized so that when you're scrolling through, you're like, oh, shoes, she's got shoes. Oh, she's got swimsuits. Um, and then, you know, you can order it how you want um, in your own, for your own shopping experience. Um, and, uh, but for Swift Seller, it gives me, okay, there's four different options. Oldest item first or newest item first. Um, most recently shared item and uh, least recently shared item. So if you wanna, if you like are looking at the bottom of your list and going, wow, I haven't shared that item in a long time and it's where all my swimsuits are, I can just reorder everything uh, to share the, the, the last shared items and put those at the top of my closet. Um, and like I said, you can also share by category. So I can do men, women, uh, children, housewares, pets, electronics, um, or I can do subcategories within those. And the nice thing about Swift Seller is um, it gives me metrics on each of those items. So uh, if I want to reorder my closet through what has sold the most, you know, maybe I think I sell, I don't know, women's the most, but I actually sell men's the most. I can reorder my closet and say, let's do men's categories first. Or um, within the subcategories, if I sell men's jeans more than I sell men's shirts, I can put men's jeans and order it that way. Um, I find it a little tedious. I do it maybe once a week, once every other week uh, to order my closet that way. Cause I just try to change up how my closet looks and to make it just look different for, you know, if you came in and looked at it an hour ago, and then you look, you know, you look now, it's, I want it to be different. I want it to be a different experience. Um, did I talk about the formula yet? No, I did not. Okay, that's a problem when you've done the video three times. <laughs> so, so the formula is based on uh, the number of items listed and, the, and your 30 day uh, share. So um, you take the active, your active number of listings I got it right here on my little thing. You take your active number of listings. So I have uh, 741 listings. You multiply that by three or four. Um, that number being three, uh, three complete closet shares per day or four complete closet shares per day. You get to choose what you're going to do. Um, I'm, I was, my goal was three closet shares per day. Now I'm moving up to four closet shares per day. Um, and then you multiply that uh, sum by 30 and that gives you your monthly number of shares, which you're going to compare with your Posh stats. Um, so when you look in your Poshmark app and you go to Posh stats, it'll tell you how many self shares you've had in the last 30 days. And you're gonna compare these two numbers and you're gonna know like, okay, I need to do this many shares. Um, and uh, mine, I said, it turned out to be 88,920 which is about 3,000 shares a day. Um, so that means I have to share my closet of currently 741 items, like four times a day-ish. Um, so that formula works out. Um, I set up to share my, my closet uh, when I wake up and I generally do it because uh, with Swift Seller, uh, you get to set whether you're going to do fast, normal, or slow. Um, so when I wake up, I generally do fast, um, and it'll share my entire closet in about 12 minutes, maybe 15. Um, if I set it at the normal rate, it takes about 20 minutes. And if I set it at the slow rate, it can take up to 40 minutes. It's usually like in the 30 to 40 minute range. Um, 
and when I'm asleep, I usually set it up to share twice. Um, and I put it at the slow setting. And then the rest of the time during the day, depending on what's going on during the day, I will set it to share at the normal rate. Um, I'll give you a little hint about that later. Um, but I, I do all my party shares through the Poshmark app because I feel like, you know, they know uh, whether you're sharing through the app and or whether you're not. So um, I, I feel like I should touch the app for a little bit. So I do all my community shares through the Poshmark app and it, it's, it doesn't uh, take that much time. You just go into the party and go boop, 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 boop. And you know, your 50 items could get listed to the party. Um, yeah, so uh, going back to Swift Seller, um, a lot of times what I'll do, because you have to leave it open on your phone, so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll start you know, sharing my closet and uh, regardless of whether I'm sharing it fast, normal or slow, I'll just uh, go into my phone and do something you know, that I have to do. Like maybe I'll do some listing or maybe I'll take a call and it just waits for you in the background. <laughs> and uh, when you get off the phone, you can just go back to Swift Seller and it says, you know, it gives you a message that uh, the app doesn't run when, when you're in another app or it, it's paused and you can just say, oh, I understand and hit resume and it will start again where it left off. And, uh, that seems to work well and that gives me a lot of shares and um, I think I am currently up to about 81,000 shares in the month. I generally do not share on Saturday or if I do share, I just share like maybe twice a day. I'm sorry, not on, on Sunday, not Saturday. Um, so I usually have a lot of time to make up for on Monday, but I have shared a lot today because I am trying to get to the 88, uh, 88, 9, <laughs> 88,920. I was like, you know, on the other hand, I feel like, hey, uh, Poshmark wants you to be successful and they want to make, they make money when you make money. So, I mean, I understand that they're the social media selling app, but seriously, uh, you know, they know they have people that are making a living selling on Poshmark. And so why don't they make it easier for us to <laughs> share? Um, and like I said, this formula seems to be working. I did list uh, a number of new items this week. I think I listed about, I don't know, about 20 items on Poshmark. Most of my listing was on um, eBay this week. I did list like maybe 15 to 20 items on Posh and then relisted like maybe five or six. Um, so that might also have something to do with it. But generally I think it is uh, because I was relisting last month, or I'm sorry, I was listing a lot last month. The thing that I wasn't doing, um, I only had about 40 or 50,000 monthly shares. Um, so you can see I've done a lot of work <laughs> uh, in this little bit of April that we're in, uh, that I've done a lot of work to bring my shares up to 81,000. I forgot to say that formula, that 88,920 uh, for me, that's my number. So if you have 100 items and uh, in your closet and you want to you know, share three times a day, that's 300 and 300 times 30 is 3,000. I'm sorry, 9,000. <laughs> like, I don't, what did I say? 300 times 30, yeah, is, is 9,000. That's a different number. Uh, that's totally, you know, depending on what your workload is, that's totally uh, more doable than than eighty eight nine um, for the month. But um, this, that's the minimum number of daily shares, or that's the that's the minimum number of self shares to. Um, keep you active and to get you regular sales. Um, what those regular sales will look like, whether it's, you know, 20 items a day or, you know, 50 items a day or two items a day, that remains to be seen. Um, like I said, I have 16 uh, sales this week, which is um, going back to pre-slow times uh, when I was doing about 20, 25 sales a week um, on Posh. Um, and I've said before, most of my sales tend to be from eBay. So um, I'm fine with that. And I had a brief moment where eBay had slowed down my sales and Poshmark just picked up. I had more time to to share my closet and so around August September Poshmark just like 
ticked way up there for me. So that was definitely a bonus and I definitely appreciate Poshmark for that. Oh, uh, community shares. Um, I will do community shares because I feel like that um, also plays into the formula. Um, I don't do a lot, but I will do them uh, a few manually. Most of my um, community shares I do through Simple Posher. And like I said, I'm gonna put the link below um, in the comments, but I'm not sure if it's still active um, because there hasn't been an update for forever. I, so I'm just avoiding updating my operating system on my Mac <laughs> just to, to keep it uh, because I, I do feel like it's valuable. Um, and I was just looking here, I have my, my settings, uh, minimum nine seconds uh, between each share, maximum 27 seconds. Um, I feel like um, the slower it goes, because this does get captured a lot, um, and it says I can randomize my sharing order, reverse sharing order, bottom to top. I can share infinitely, or I can share to party. So Simple Posher, Swift Seller, Closet Mate. Um, those are the three I use. Um, do a search and see what's out there. And if you find one that you like, uh, you can go ahead and sign up for the subscription. Swift Seller is, I believe, $9.99 a month. Um, and I find that that's uh, a worthwhile expense for me. Um, just as a side note, I did use Posher VA for their free week, 10 days, something like that. I think it was longer than a week for Posture VA. And I really, really did like it. Um, it was excellent uh, because with Posture VA, you can set, um, when somebody likes your item, you can set to automatically give them, uh, make them an offer and um, you can set, so so like if you come to my closet and you like an item, uh, when I use Posture VA, I could, uh, say like 10 minutes after you like the item, you would receive, uh, you know, a 15% discount or whatever. And, um, you know, you can set what the discount is. And I believe you can exclude things. So like if you didn't want an offer a discount on certain items, I believe you could do that. Um, <clears throat> Posture VA users, just set me straight on that. It, it was, I think around $30 a month. And I'm just not at the point to have that as an expense. Um, li listening to other poshers, um, how often they share their closet. I believe Mogi Beth says that she does, uh, she shares her closet three times a day. Um, and uh, what's her name? I think it's Poshing with Mona. She was on a, she was interviewed on um, one of one of uh, Poshmark's online, you know, seminar things, and I believe she said she shares her closet like nine or ten times a day. Um, and you know, if you follow her on Instagram, she got she's got the mega sales to to prove it. So she's doing she's doing good work. So I really think that sharing your closet does make a difference. And even though it is a pain in the neck, um, it's currently what Poshmark is prioritizing. So uh, you can complain about it or you can you know go with the tide <laughs> and and uh, make it work for you and I think when you start making the money uh, it's gonna seem like less of a hassle um, because I just tend to do like I'll I'll share if I'm sitting at a really long stoplight or I have trains uh, that are in my neighborhood so if I'm waiting for a train to go I'll just my phone is there it's plugged in I'll just do some shares um, when I'm standing in line at the grocery store I'll do some shares uh, before I go to bed I set it on a loop to share uh, my closet at least twice um, you get a warning with Swift seller that says you know um, the more times you share your closet in a row or whatever increases the the time that you could get captured um, um, but I set it up for slow share and uh, it usually takes like two or three hours. I only I used to do three or four loops. Now I only do two because um, that's 1,400 shares for me right now. And that's 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 good enough. Um, and I share when I first wake up, I said, and I'll usually share uh, like at some point during the day, like if I'm watching TV um, and not listing, I'll set it up to share and I'll do a fast share because that's only going to take like less than 15 minutes. And so I've shared my 741 items in 15 minutes and I can get my four shares per day easily that way. Um, so I hope that this video has been helpful and I will, I said I wasn't going to edit, but I will because it is 28 minutes long and I know I did not talk 
and give 28 minutes worth of helpful information. So I hope that you had a very good holiday uh, with your friends, with your family, or with yourself. I hope you got a little self-care in and um, I will see you next Sunday. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace, love, and shopping.